Hello, this is Andrew and welcome back to my channel. In this video there will be just small review the difference between HP servers generation 8 which is on the left side and generation 9. This is by the way the performance model so let's see. <laughs> this is my main just pull it out from there. So VJ standard DVD drive, eight hard drives in this one particularly inside six six hundred gigabyte SAS drives and two in the middle SSDs for the operating system. The front panel USB UID power and the uh, diagnostics and inlet locks. In this one, the generation 9 has only four hard drives. You can put more inside, but you need to swap the backplane for the server. There is literally nothing in the front, just for the hard drives and those fillers. That's all. Mm, the same UID, power, internet, and the health button. If we look from the top, the Gen 9 is a longer one than the G8. So let's pull the cover. This is currently working, this one, with the folding at home. As always, all the information. And all the helpful information. And Two processors, 64 gigs of RAM in the G8 server integrated. Ray controller, 10 gig internet card, and only one riser. But two power supplies, 750 watts, both of them. There is a room for uh, USB. USB. 2.0 and the big one SD card. So let's switch to the Gen 9. Same two CPUs. Mm, this one, as I mentioned before, it has only two six blo 16 gigabytes blocks, but external RAID for the SAS drive, of course. Second riser. You can put standard PGA cards inside, built in 4 gigabits internet, the EVA port, uh, there's below the RAID card uh, is a 40 gigabit internet card with the two ports. This one is P822 with 2 gigs of RAM for the chase. And two USB 3.0. The micro SD card. This is a trusted platform module. If you remove it well, you can throw the motherboard away because without him, the server will never boot up or work again. So don't pull it out if you have it installed in the server. So let's see the back one. As I say before. 240 gigabits internet, 4 gigs, the ELO, 2 USB 3.0, VGA, 2 power supplies with 500 watts. Let's switch to the Gen 8. The two 10G ports, but this one have only 1G 
installed one riser card <laughs> com damn it elo vga four usbs uid button and two power supplies from behind and that's how it looks from behind the gen 8 and uh, gen 9 The fans, by the way, are quite similar, but I don't want to turn them out. So... About the hard drives. SSD. They're both the same. And a HP drive as the SAS 600 gigabytes. This one particularly have uh, E5 2690, the hottest and fastest CPU that you can get for Gen 8 server on the platform. This one have. 2678 the version 3 the 12 cores 2 CPUs so I think it's all just a quick compare between the generations well thanks guys for watching and see you later bye bye